With Trial of Allegiance just round the corner, I thought I would give Empire of Brazil Redux a go, which has been sat in my mods for quite a while that I haven't touched yet. And seeing as it will then become a little redundant, I think, unfortunately. Um, I'll leave a link to it in the description below, obviously, but we'll give it a crack today then. But essentially, it just adds a focus tree and events to Brazil. So let's jump in and see what it's got to offer. So here we are as Brazil then. We have got Vargas in charge, father of the poor. 1930 revolution. Oh, that is bad. Mm, Bandeiros, that's good. Inexperienced army, that's bad. Bad education, that's also bad. Okay, let's have a little look at this focus tree then. So, what have we got going on? Bit of war stuff, that looks political. We've got some industry with some resource gains, that looks good. Uh, what's this over here? Army, that looks like air. And then this seems to be research and industry. Okay, right, I think the only thing we can do then is order and progress. For 100 political power. Okay, let's have that. Uh, research, we've got three slots. Let's just go for usual industry and electrical mechanical engineering. And we'll just build some sieves to get our economy going. Mills, three. Cool, let's get some more guns and then we'll work towards some artillery soon. And we'll just get a few convoys, I think, just to start with. Uh, have we got a navy? Yes, we do. Ooh, two battleships as well. That's pretty good. Some light cruisers and destroyers. And how many men have we got? 11 divisions. Okay, let's just get them down by the capital. Welcome to the Empire of Brazil. Welcome to my mod, dear player. Thank you. So what have we got? A few different paths. Democratic Brazil. Boring. Uh, revolutionary Brazil. So we have to become fascist and lose the war, essentially. Okay, let's go fascist then and see how we end up, I think. And we might go revolutionary, we might not, depending on how we do. Let's start with organising a coup then. Always starts with a coup, don't it? Any of these civil war-y, change -y ones, we always have to have a coup. But my god, look at these advisors, there's loads of them. We've got some nice field marshals as well, a ranger and a skilled staffer. Yes, please, we will have you and... Bearer of Artillery. I don't remember seeing that. Is that new or have I just missed that? Let's invite the Army General to the coup. Yes, you want to come join our coup. Definitely. Luis Carlos arrested. Okay, that made no difference. That had nothing. I think there's just loads of random events in this one. Uh, divisions aren't bad. Propaganda against the Estado. Okie dokie. And now we get to pick which way. So, Civil War for Brazil, this is the fascist way, so we will go for that. Thank you. And Civil War has kicked off. We are now Brazil at war. We'll go get the Integralist aid for seven days and set up some naval invasions because that's the easiest way for a Civil War in Brazil, as I've learned from my Portugal days. So we'll just jump in as far as we can, round their troops and grab the victory points, all of which are on the coastline. And we'll just defend our area there. Election. Uh, yeah, we want more fascism support. We don't want that stability, so we will let the landscape shift. All help is welcome, yes. Exile generals offer health as well. Yes, please, we will take you three generals. You can be added the new troops to the line just to hold our capital. The future of Brazil. The future is fascism. 10% extra. Thank you. Right, we've got Miguel Costa offers his help. Uh, I don't really need a general, so no. Uh, whoever this... Zhao, do we need a admiral? No, we have got loads. I do not want... We want extra PP. Yes, please. We'll just walk to their capital and we'll continue on our horsey boys round the coast. Thank you. And the Integralists take control temporarily. Yes, temporarily, definitely. There we go. Civil War is done. Bada bing, bada boom. We are back to full-on Brazil. Let's get our troops back to Rio. But we do have divided population. Ah, that is also... Our stability is pants. 
And I forgot to go to war economy during the Civil War as well. Damn it. We have temporarily taken control, which means we are now fascists under Gustavo, the integralist leader. But we will get to the imperial question, which is the imperial restoration. Hmm, interesting. Oh, you know how much I like to mess around. Do I go super heavy battleships? Hmm, I feel like Brazil needs super heavy battleships, definitely. The Imperial Restoration. Oh, we've got Dom Pedro III. Becomes inexperienced monarch, though. Damn, that's not good. But look at him. Dom Pedro III, our king. Let's get lessons from Dom Pedro II. Uh, and I'm hoping that will get rid of the inexperienced monarch as well. Yes, it did. And we now get the Magnanimous Emperor. Oh, he's looking good now. That is a very helpful to our economy and getting our political advisors. So that is good. Pedro III will take his great grandfather's place. But we do have constitution abolished, which isn't great. But he does have some good stats now. And we will jump to war economy for cheap. And then, oh, we do have some good uh, political advisors here. Let's go for the meal. And oh, civilian plus 15% factory. Yes. Do I want political power or... No, let's get the 10% construction speed and the negative consumer goods. There's a research slot down here, so I think I'll work my way down that one. So we'll go for reviewing Changa's studies. Time for our super boy. No, it's not because I totally forgot that you've got to research the heavy battery. Damn! Right, we'll do that. 97 days. Let's go get our extra research slot for the University of Rio now. We've got the Trans-Amazon Highway, so we get some infrastructure and sieves, but I want to work down here to get the dockyards, I think, to help with our big boys. And we're constructing a dam. Okay, interesting. Let's go get partial training, because I just realised I'm getting a negative war support every week, which is really harsh. And we'll go and get... Infantry. No, let's get the artillery. We do love a bit of 21 width artillery. Uh, oh, his health is not good. He can stop being a naval commander. I don't want to lose that PP. Because we have many more naval commanders. Sorry, Brazil has other needs. Expand the base. Here we go. Let's get some dockyards for 35 days. And we will start building our own as well. Because I want to get some of these big boy ships out to crush the Atlantic. Oh, the dam is done. Oh, construction seed, factory output, docker output, and repair plus 5%. That is good. Okay, that's good. I like that. Here's our big boys ready to go. So let's get these out. Super heavy battleships. I'm going for four. Here they are. Check them out. NRB, Pele, Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, and Roberto Carlos. Four icons. What better names for ships? Although one's not out till 2214. We'll continue our way down here to get these bases in. I didn't realise I need both sides. So let's go for that one. The FISPA. And we'll start getting some plain stuff. Range focus definitely. And we're going to go mediums. I keep getting these decisions. I don't really know what it does. But I can't really see a way of getting rid of these facts. There's no focus or anything. They just keep changing and it's really hitting my stability. Not too sure. Right, Rio base is done. Let's go working on getting ourselves all of these resources, which seems a, a little OP. But we have almost got all of our naval dockyards. We just need another five of them. So let's go build a few more. And then we'll work on getting more resources and trading if we need. But let's at least get the dockyards ready to pump these boys out. Uh, what gives us the most? 15. Oh, 30 steel. Yes, please. 49 days for 30 steel. Done. And we will build the infrastructure better. Anywhere that's got steel that can get us more like you. That gets us one more. The CSN helps. Oh, Capital ship productivity costs minus 20%. They do take 30 steel, but that, I mean, I can't choose it either. It's happening, so that's good, though, I think. In the long run, maybe. 
Look at my stability though. Monarch estate and anti-monarch estate. Which one do you want and which one are you? Make up your mind. Uh, let's leave the chromium for now and let's go down this the cisplatine fate butchered again I haven't butchered anything for ages uh, we'll just trade some steel and chromium now and then November 42 is the last one that is when we are joining the war to help the Axis 1942 and Uruguay has refused the annexation. Well, there's something we can do about that, isn't there? First of all, we will outlaw the racism. That seems like a good thing to do. And we'll declare war on Uruguay. A bad thing to do, but who cares? Onwards! I don't think they'll put up much of a fight. No, there goes Uruguay. Brilliant. We'll take all your equipment and we'll just annex you and take your navy. Thank you very much. And we can now go to War Economy. Let's hit that back up. We're down to June 42 now because I think we had some more construction and our stability has gone up as well. So that's good. Let's go for Brazil Indivisible. An indivisible empire of recruitable pop and stability. And with that, we've now jumped to February 42. Oh, we are looking good. We are getting to the war early, Germany. Don't you worry. And we'll go get that chromium now so we can have some of our factories back, I think. And, oh, I didn't see that. Battleship expert, minus 15 to production cost of heavy ships. Oh, we're now to 41, November 41. It's almost like the game wants me to build these super heavy battleships. And our factories are coming along nicely, which is good. We're getting some good equipment for which I do need to start pushing towards an army, I think. We will go get whatever this legacy of a hero is. Something to do with planes, I assume. We'll get some sort of bonus or something. Yes, we do get some random 10% air emission efficiency. That's not bad, actually. I'll get take that. And we'll go get FAB. Isn't that the Thunderbirds? And let's start getting some more troops out because we do only have about 34 at the moment, which isn't great. But now we've got past January 39, we can head down this way, get the other research slot and get Pedro the Second's Dream. And we'll use our bonus for our air to get another medium airframe. And then we'll start building some medium air planes, things. And we will need range improvements for that uh, jungle coverage because we are a big boy country. And then we'll get some torpedoes. We'll get marines and the jungle specialists as well because we will, funny enough, be fighting in a lot of jungles. So let's go and add the pioneers to them. Jungle movement plus 10%. Very nice. And we'll get eight divisions of them. Okay, that'll do then. That will do. And apparently we can get oil whenever we want so whichever one gives us the most that one will get some more oil and we're going with these planes good close air so it's basically a fighter medium heavy fighter with some cast and range oh no i haven't put any range on it i've totally forgot to put range uh da, 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 da. now extra fuel tanks 2000 kilometers brilliant we will definitely oh now i'm above weight um, right, let's take the turrets off then, that'll do. Less defence, but who cares. Um, we'll change them out for the big heavy ones. Pedro the Second's dream, extra stability, just what we need. Ah, flame boys, we'll get some medium flame boys on the go. Everyone always comments about it saying, don't use small ones, use the mediums. And we will add them, not yet, but when we get enough XP, we will add the medium flame boys. And we'll get some of these sort of marine tack bombers out with the torpedoes for 36 naval strike. Very nice. We'll have some of them on the range focused uh, MIO as well. Right, I've filled up all the slots and I've got loads of radars. So I might as well build some supply hubs, I suppose, in the rain, in the uh, deep in the Amazon. Because we will be needing that and then I can fight from all directions. Yeah, let's upgrade these 
ships and then because I want to give them a radar really and then we'll refit them as long as it's not too bad 64 days no I'll take that you can have some radars and some better guns and it does mean we can stop trading so we get a load more factories back oh yes our economy is good and we'll go for naval refit yard as well so we can up that speed uh, what we look at yeah a couple of weeks here they are, Pele, you're the one who deserves to be pride of the fleet, I think. That's only fitting. And you can join the rest of the Navy. Uh, what do we want to give you? Safety first, I think, because I don't want them to sink. I think if they get sunk, I will just cry. Right, we can finally walk down the warpath. Military training in Germany. So that gets rid of the partial military training. I didn't realise that. That's been really niggling me. I'm, I missed that you can get rid of it there. And then we'll work our way down. Oh, they didn't want to give them up. That's not a surprise. But we will go to... If they don't want peace, they'll have war. Yes. Yes, they will have war. Paraguay, you are first up with our marines that are jungle boys really and Bolivia after that as well so we'll send them that way. Cast and logistics over there, look at the range. We're going to hit you wherever you hide. The Imperial Prince enlists in the Navy, a heroic act. No, he's absolute crap. You will not be doing anything. The Fall of Moscow, gee. Whoa, Germany's going ham. I've not done anything to stop that. I wonder if the mods... Sh Why has Vichy got Africa as well? No idea. Dom Pedro III abdicates. What? The Empire must remain. Forget the Empire, save the Integralists. What happens if I do the other one? I don't know. Let's find out. We'll call Pedro. Oh, he's an inexperienced. Damn. But we've got Dom Pedro the Fourth. How many bloody Don Pedros are we going to go through in this run? Right, Paraguay. War has come. It's about time we actually did something now. Onwards. And we've got some new decisions. So we can ally with people. We've got this enough. Something to do with that land that we haven't taken. I'm not going to try and pronounce it again. Why do we fight event? A blizzard? How can it be a blizzard? Um. Yeah, let's... Monarchist support increased by five points. What the hell does that mean? But there goes Paragon anyway. And Bolivia, you shouldn't be too difficult. Let's go in, move some of these around because we have got many equipments everywhere now, actually, so we're fine. We can do whatever we want. Bolivia's gone, there we go. And look at all that equipment we just got as well. Jesus Christ, the South Americans really like hoarding infantry equipment. But Argentina, you're next. Look at our cast damage. Oh, ho, ho. you are melting away, Argentina. And Germany has just capitulated the Soviets. I've oh, in 1942. My God, the mod has definitely changed some sort of balancing. I think. There goes Argentina. Just 35,000 equipment they had to give as well. Just hoarding that. So thank you. Basically, we can do whatever we want with our limited manpower and equipment. And little Slither Chili, you are next. We should actually push these allies out, really. And, I mean, we've got the jungle bonuses and stuff, so... Shouldn't be too difficult, especially with all this Cass. Oh, yes, lots of Cass. Excellent, excellent. And... There we go, 20-odd divisions or so encircled. I'm hoping they won't get out, they'll just... Be crushed, they disappeared, so we'll never know. But they are gone. We'll take all that aluminium or aluminium from you guys. I'm going to get some destroyers out on patrol because my lovely big boy ships are not finding anyone, which is rather annoying. Germany demand our territory. No, why would I give them that? Ter That's probably to do with that folk or that decision. But no, they're not going to have it. I'll leave your faction. Meanwhile, we're destroying some destroyers in the Atlantic. Oh. Venezuela isn't putting up much of a fight either. No one wants to fight me because I just crush everything. 
Venezuela is done another 20,000 guns. We are finding some small navies and just immediately sinking everything in sight, which is nice, but I want some big boy ships to fight. Chile is done. They had 55,000 guns. Liberate the Colombians. I don't want to ally with Peru and our Venezuela doesn't exist. We're actually going to declare on Peru because I want all of it. Meanwhile, we are sinking the Chilean Navy. What do we get? Oh, they're pride of the fleet as well, which is a battleship. Unlucky. Moving into Colombia. There goes Colombia. 25,000 guns. Is that it? Tight asses. And we'll go for the Galapagos Islands of the Ecuadorians. Meanwhile, Peru's gone. There goes Ecuador. Look, 200,000 guns. And we control all of South America. Uh, time to push up Central America towards USA. So, Panama, you're first. We'll have that canal of yours. Influence Mexico's done. Oh, it started a little civil war of theirs, did it? Oh, that's nice. I mean, we're not going to help them, but that was nice. And with Guatemala done, we are now bordering Mexico. So we are pushing north. Let's get our main army, which I've left over here on that front line. And we're going to get our fleet just into sort of the Caribbean. And hopefully we're going to do some nice engagement with the Americans. Mexico is not putting up a fight. We are just rolling them over. Got a naval invasion set for Florida. That's just gone even though I've got yellow. No idea. We've landed in Florida. Yay. We'll crush Miami and then we will push north. And we should join up in the south somewhere with the rest. Let's get some cash over. Mexico is gone which is nice. But oh of the junta it's left this really weird front line that's annoying got some new decisions decree state of siege and some weekly war support which we don't need so they're pointless let's get some more cast up over the gulf coast we need to help our boys in america i mean there's not many u.s soldiers about as usual with the u.s we're just Having a nice road trip. Oh no, we've lost a battleship. We've lost a battleship. Please say it wasn't one of the big boys. Please. Roberto Carlos, Ronaldo, Pele. Oh, they're all there. Must have been the crappy old ones. Thank God. We're up to almost New York. We've got Newark. Uh, we surely can't need much. Probably Los Angeles. They've got loads sat on it. So let's just keep on walking around. And then we'll take it like this. Taking San Francisco has to be it. Surely. Surely. Oh, no, we didn't even walk in there. There we go. 60,000 guns of America. There's USA gone. Now we've got to get our fleet to do some sinking so we can get our way across the Atlantic, I think. Right, Germany won't let me back in their faction now, which is annoying. But at least Vichy gave me access, so that's all right. So we can get our navy over to the english channel as well as some marines ready to do a little naval invasion i mean they are getting caught by convoys which is annoying let's set up a little reverse d-day from sherbog and we'll hit round portsmouth and dover ah oh, here we go finally some action what are we sinking come on get some of the carriers no one battleship not bad uh anything else a battle cruiser was that as well? Two battleships and a battle cruiser. I'll take that. Take that. Ooh, we have lost a lot of destroyers there. Um, right, build. We must build as many naval dockyards as possible to get as many destroyers out as possible. Because apparently they made a glass. We have got green, but I kind of just want to sink some more navy before we finish them off. There we go. There's another battleship done. Ooh, two battleships done. They must have got them fleeing. Very nice. Oh, here we go. Germany has used our naval supremacy to land, which is a bit irritating. But there's much more of the British fleet I want to sink yet. Liberation of London. I don't think I've ever seen that. Is that new or have I just never taken London and lost it? 
But fine, let's get our marines going as well then. Ooh, they've tried to intercept us over the carrier and a battleship with one destroyer. This is going to end well for us. There goes the battleship and there goes the carrier. Unlucky. Our cast is above doing a lot of logistics and we are fighting as well. So they are good numbers. Germany's been pushed out. We've got some cast. Let's just roll on up. Nothing left for the British. I mean, they've actually got quite a bit here, but we're pushing them. So we're fine. We're fine. Oh, this is also not going well for the British. Oh, wow. Three carriers gone. Can we get the fourth or fifth? Fourth. Oh, one escaped. Four carriers, one battleship. That is pretty decisive of a battle. And I think with that, that is definitely the end for the British. There we go. The end of the Allies. We have won. Look at our big, chonky Brazil. I mean, the Germans pretty chonky, and Italy has Africa. But we have both the Americas, all of Americas. And look at our big boys. They have got some casualties and war targets to talk about. Carriers, cruisers, battleships are galore. And you all thought it was going to be wasted time, didn't you? Didn't you? Well, there we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this Brazil one. Looking forward to the new DLC and um, peace out.